Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. If you just got a Cricut machine or a Maker 3, congratulations and welcome to the club. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be ready to set up your machine and do your first test project. I'll walk you through what's in the box, how to set up design space, and how to make your first test project. Today I will be unboxing a Maker 3, but you can do these same steps with the machines from the Explore lineup or the Joy as well. When you open your box, you will receive a Let's Get Started package. Inside the box, you'll find instructions and a few materials to do a test project. There will be two cords in the box. The first one is to connect your machine to your computer with a USB plug-in. The second one is the power cord. These both plug in in the back. You may also have received a basic tool set. This set is very helpful because it will come with your weeder tool, scissors, scraper tool, tweezers, and a lifter tool. I'll show you how to use these today. To open your machine, just lift up the top flap and the rest will open automatically. Cricut keeps it simple by only putting a few buttons on the top. The top one is the power button. This button with arrows going up and down is the load unload button. You use this button to put your mat in and out of the machine. On the Maker 3, the cut button is this triangle button right here. On some models, this button will be a Cricut C. Use this button to get your machine to start cutting once you're ready. And the last button is pause. There are two clamps in every Cricut machine. Clamp A is for pens or a scoring stylus. To use it, just open the clamp, push in the pen or scoring stylus until you hear a click, and then close the clamp again. We will not be using this one today, but we will be using clamp B. Inside your Let's Get Started box, there will be a fine point blade. Just open up clamp B, put in the blade, and close it firmly. Now your machine is ready to use. There are a whole bunch of other blades that you can buy for your machine as well. Not all the blades are compatible with every machine though, so before you buy any blades, check that it's compatible with the machine that you have first. The only other thing you need to do before you can cut anything out is download Design Space. Let's do that next. If you haven't downloaded Design Space yet, it's super easy. If you're on your phone or an iPad, you can just download it right in the App Store. I'm on a computer, so I'll go to Cricut.com. Over on the right hand side, click on Apps. Now click on Download Cricut Design Space. You need to click on this little box that you agree to Cricut Terms of Use, and then you can download it. Once you have Design Space downloaded on your computer, this is what it looks like. The home page has lots of ideas, and it changes all the time. In this section, you will find projects or images that are ready to use. When you're first starting out, a good section to check out is Beginner Projects. There's a good selection in here of beginner fonts that are thicker and easier to use, as well as project ideas sorted by material. Today I'll show you how to make your own project. So let's click on the upper corner on New Project. I'll give you a quick rundown on what functions it has. The top one is New, and this is for making a new project. Next is Templates. This button is here to help you in the designing process to figure out your sizing and placement of your project. Next is Projects. This section has a whole bunch of projects that are ready to go. You can click here on Categories and choose a category that works for you, or you can search what you're looking for in the search bar. When you find one you like, it will be a complete project that is ready to cut out. Next is Shapes. The top section are the shapes that are free, and the bottom section are included if you have Cricut Access. Let's click on a shape and bring it onto the canvas. Next is the Images section. This is the section that I use the most. You can find images about pretty much anything in here. 
For today's example, let's look up flowers. When you find one you like, just click on it and add to canvas. The next section I'll show you is text. This one is pretty easy. Just click on it and then type in what you want to write. You can change your font up here and there are lots of font options in Design Space. The first heading is Cricut and these are all the fonts that are already in the program. The second section is System. These are the fonts that you've downloaded onto your computer. And the next category is Bookmark, and you'll find all of your favorite fonts in here. For today, I'll scroll down to find a font that is cursive and thicker. This one will work. It is Milky Matcha, which I downloaded from defont.com. I'll just make it larger, and I'll change it to yellow, to show you one thing that you should know from the start. Wherever you see this black outline is where your machine is going to cut. As you can see here, there is a cut line between the letters, which means that my machine is going to cut these letters apart. If I want this word to come out as a whole word, it's an easy fix. I just need to click on Combine down at the bottom, and then click on Unite. As you can see here, those lines between the letters are gone. Now this will cut out properly. Your new Cricut machine is designed to cut each different color on a different mat. So the last thing we need to do in Design Space is highlight all of the shapes and change them so that they're the same color. Now this is ready to cut out, so I can click on Make It. Your Cricut machine works by cutting out material that is stuck on a mat. So we'll select On Mat. If you have the Maker or Maker 3, you can select your material from this list. Click on Browse Materials, and then all the materials will be divided into categories. For your first few test projects, I would recommend just using loose leaf or plain printer paper. Mine is 24 pound copy paper. If you're using one of the machines in the Explore lineup, just turn your dial to paper. When the cut is done, if you find that it hasn't cut all the way through, just turn your dial one more click toward vinyl and try again. Now our work is done in Design Space, so we can move to actually using the machine and cutting out the paper. When you're first starting out, I would try practicing with paper, and then when you're more confident, try moving to vinyl and cardstock. With your machine, you will likely have received one of these blue light grip mats. This mat is good for cutting printer paper, as well as other thin materials like construction paper or thin cardstock. There are three other colors of mats in the Cricut lineup as well. The one that I would recommend purchasing is a green standard grip mat. The green mats are the ones that I use most often, and they're for regular cardstock, iron-on material, and vinyl. You can also get a purple strong grip mat, which is good for thick cardstock, glitter cardstock, and thicker materials like leather or chipboard. And finally, there's also a pink mat, which you use for fabric. Let's get started today by cutting out the paper. I can see on the mat view in Design Space that my cut is going to be just over two inches high, so I will cut out my paper to three inches to give it a little extra room. Now I will take this and line it up to the top of my blue mat. This mat is ready, so I can pop it into my Maker 3. For all of the machines in the Cricut lineup, just put your mat into the machine and make sure the edges are under these little guides on the sides here. Now you can press this blinking load button and your machine will pull in the mat. It will measure the mat length and then the cut button will light up next. Once it does, you can press that and your machine will make the cut. This is all done, so I'll press the unload button to remove the mat from the machine. Now we can take the paper off of the mat. I'll start by taking off the background. If I were to just grab one of the corners and start pulling it up, you can see here 
that it wrecks the paper and makes it curve up. What you want to do instead is flip it over and roll the mat away from the paper. Your goal here is to keep the paper flat against the table. If you find that there are little areas that don't come off while you're doing this, grab the lifter tool that came in the toolkit and use it to help you gently remove the paper from the mat. Now we can take off the pieces that we've cut out. You can do the same method of rolling the mat away from the paper, or you can use your lifter tool to help you instead. Gently work the lifter tool under the paper to slide it off. This way works well with small little pieces. Experiment with both ways and see which way works best for you. Well, I hope this video gave you the confidence to pull your machine out of the box and give it a try for your first test project. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.